for Welcome to Funky's World. Okay, while my other light is charging, I'm going to use my old light. Now, this is a recipe for chicken parm that I found. last night, except what you said, and um, I know I need to mix the dry ingredients, so it says mix ingredients, the first four, the breadcrumbs, parm, parsley, and the french fried onions, okay, so I have this package. Says a three ounce package. This is a six ounce package. So that's enough to make the recipe twice. Okay. Breadcrumbs and cups. Okay. Well, pretty much what was left in the container. So okay. Um okay. Fresh parsley. Whoops. Where's my parsley? I didn't bring my parsley in. Um, I thought I brought my parsley out. I'm putting sage in here because, well, it's chicken. <laughs> there we go. And time for the same reason. Mm, love time. Oh, my parsley's right here. Okay. I thought I took out my parsley. <laughs> okay, there's time. Again. You don't have to, it's not like with baking where you have to follow a recipe exactly, otherwise you don't know what's going to come out of the oven. When you're doing a, a cooked recipe, a savory recipe, it's not like baking, because it's not science. Which is kind of why I like savory cooking more, because you can experiment with it a little bit. Let me use that. <clears throat> so, parsley. They want pretty much all of this, which is why I bought more parsley. Pair this parsley up. Okay. Yeah, I don't want that. Okay. Alright. And I'm just going to throw a little bit of this in there. Because, why not? It's my recipe, right? <laughs> like I said, that's the beauty of savory recipes because you can I'm not gonna put those in here again you can change them up to your own taste with a baked recipe you have you know a, a cooking well I'm gonna put this with a recipe that is a baked good I need to chop the punch I need to show what I'm doing You 
have to follow the directions because otherwise you get, like I said, you don't know one out of the other. So, so you have to have precise measurements and whatnot. But this stuff you don't really have to. I mean, this is probably way more than I'm going to need. Okay, the other ingredient was the Parmesan. I didn't want to have the cup. I didn't want to use the pizza cheese for this. I wanted to use... Sorry, I know that was a little bit loud. Mm. Come on. Really? Ugh, there we go. Anyway. So. What is the size of this? This is five ounces. So I'll do about half of it. Even though they want, what is it, a third of a cup? Again, I'm going to break up the French red onion so that I can coat the Otherwise, they're not going to coat the chicken. And I'm going to stir in the cheese. Now, you could use pizza cheese. I didn't want to use, not pizza cheese. Why do they call it pizza cheese? Pasta cheese. You know the cheese you use on pasta? You could. But I wanted to use real parm instead of this. Which is real parm, but it's just really finely grated to go on top of pasta. This is fresher. Which is why I chose it. Okay, this is all of the dry ingredients. Now, I have to melt the butter. How much butter? Um, that would be a half a stick. Each stick is a cup, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. No, yeah, each stick is half the cup. Okay, so it's a full stick. Nope, this. I have paper in our food. Thank you. I don't know about this, but I'm not going to hide, that's for sure. Um, okay. Put this away. Oh, I didn't do any basil. <laughs> you know what? I'll put the basil in with the butter because the basil is a liquid. So I'll put the basil in with the butter. I have some dried herbs. I got some turmeric because it's so good for you. I have my lemon pepper, which is a little bit stuck. <laughs> there we go. I love lemon pepper on chicken. The uh, ground mustard, which they asked for in the recipe. Um, and Montreal chicken, salt and pepper. But I'm not going to do salt. You know why? Because the, the best of the cheese and the um, Montreal chicken have salt. So, this is on you. Yeah, in case you're wondering. Whoops. There. Okay. okay. Now. Ah. Now, this has to melt, and I put, what do I put in it? Garlic, Worcestershire, oh, mustard should have gone over there, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. It's a dry ingredient, so. Okay. <clears throat> it's in the fridge. Dried herbs. <laughs> Montreal chicken goes there, and then I'll put the extra down there. And onion. 
Okay. Now, I need to put some garlic in that butter. And that's really all I have to thin with the butter, right? At this point, oh no, I gotta put a tiny bit of Worcestershire. I will tell you the only issue that I had with the um, steak recipe, other than the fact that I You may have overcooked it a little bit. It is the fact that the uh, soy sauce was extremely salty. Um, oh, I should have ordered some of this. This is about the equivalent of a clove of garlic. Yeah, don't want to go nuts. Still really good. Um, there. Now we we've probably got a cold in there. And I gotta get some more of this. I in the store. I looked for it last time, I couldn't find it. Um, I'm gonna put this in the fridge. I love unsalted butter, by the way. And I will show you when you can stop. Oh, God. Gave me enough for three meals. Um, come on, miss it. There it is. Said he gave me enough for three meals, I think. So, but I figured I could use this pasta rather than making pasta to go with the chicken parm. So, what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I had my pasta sauce out. I quickly put it back in the uh, freezer because I didn't need it. Okay, that's just about there. So, what we're gonna do? There we go. Okay. That is melted. So what we're going to do is shut it off and we're going to pound out our chicken. I'm trying to get my tongue clean. Okay. That's my parchment. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry guys. There's a cord wrapped around you. Okay. <laughs> you get back there. Good. Okay. Two pieces of parchment. Two pieces of parchment. Okay. I'm going to do. Gotta grab my. Oh. Turned it off. It's heavily boiling. I'm like, no, 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 no. Two pieces of chicken, done. 
decides to oh we didn't preheat it. <laughs> That's okay. Just 350 degrees anyway, so it won't take long. Final hand washing of the procedure. <laughs> Sheesh, like being a surgeon. Okay. I don't know what you do with the rest of the you can't really do anything with the rest of the stuff because it's had raw chicken in it, so I just dumped it together. Um this is going in the oven. <coughs> and Malcolm Brown would say let it sit for a few minutes to let the crust harden. And it's going to sit because I'm going to preheat my oven. And I may not even eat it when it's hot. You know what I mean? Um, because it's kind of early for me. For my big meal. So. Anyway, this recipe came from the book that I just got at the bookstore. Sit down. Oh, yay. <laughs> okay. Um, But yeah, I already have the pasta. What I'll do with that at the very end of cooking is that I'll put a little bit of the Fiesta cheese that I use for my, uh, because <clears throat> you have to, usually you top it with cheese and sauce. I'm not going to top it with sauce because I'm having it with spaghetti. So I just put a little bit of the Fiesta cheese toward the end of cooking that I use on my English muffin pizzas. Um, okay, we're at 30% power, and that's fine, because we were done anyway. So there, Mr. Battery. Uh, <laughs> God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Please subscribe to both channels. We're trying to get to 200 on this channel and 500 on the other channel. 
the main channel, Kid Missing, by Memorial Day. And please check out today's video over there, which will be the Beckley Jane Doe. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. God bless you, and I will see you uh, tomorrow. Bye, guys.